What's up guys, Black Holder and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Football Manager 2021 for episode number 18 of Sans et Or, our last career mode and today's episode is a big one, we're going to wrap up season 2 uh, of our save following um, a poor previous episode, uh, especially the end where we lost to Chelsea at the 87th minute, sadly. Uh, where we were going through and, and then we didn't. Uh, but we then proceeded to lose against Rennes. And then we drew against Saint-Etienne. Meaning that our chances at winning the league title are basically down, now done. Which is a shame, it really is. But we've also been overtaken by Lyon. We've got 7 games left. If we can get 21 points, it's incredible. Uh, but I would settle for any tally of points as long as it puts me in 2nd place. And we're going to start off the episode with a game away uh, from home in Nantes. Nantes, um, a contender for European position. They're in sixth position uh, comes the start of this game. I'm just making sure that my bench is uh, good enough. Let's have Facundo Medina uh, on a set bent instead of Sheikh Ducouré, for example. There we go. Um, then the rest of the team is basically the usual one. Obviously, we're still missing Meshiba Choi. Uh, he should be back in around four weeks, so we'll most likely be able to play the last the last three games of the season, the last two three games of the season. Uh, Ander Guevara is struggling uh, sharpness wise; he's not the best. Neither is Gabriel Strefetsa. Uh So we've got Haidar and Calderon there to replace the two of them in case they have an issue. But hopefully they don't. We scored in the twentieth second. I didn't cover the um, the chance because I didn't think it was an actual chance because it's early game. But we're one up after 30 seconds. Guevara found uh, Inigo Lekwe. Guevara for his comeback game as well following his injury. Inigo passing it to Arezzo. Arezzo the assist for Marin Boadu. 1-0 after 20 seconds. Let's go. Free kick for Nantes. Straight after kickoff. Uh, or basically straight after our goal. Cafaro for Tourette's countered. Boadu on the counter attack. Come on. It's a 2v2. Marron Boadu on his own, fully on his own, and it's a big save by Juan Cardinal. Sebastian Corsia on the right hand side, the cross back to Lucas Evangelista, Imran Luza, Evangelista. What kind of Brazilian do is going to stretch the play to uh, Floriante, sorry. Switches it to Corsia once again, the cross coming up from the former Sevillian, and it's a known goal. It's a known goal from Ander Guevara. 1 0. Corner coming up, Strefetsa for Matias Areto far post, it's cleared, it's going to come back to Mathieu Cafaro, it's a counter-attack for Nantes. At the 37th minute, oh fam, we've let him on completely alone, and he does that, okay. Areto, counter-attack, come on. Just at the beginning of the half, Matias, payback, I swear to God, Matias. You don't need to start crossing the ball in the box, Cafaro free kick for Nantes. Uh, Fabian Tay, no, Flavian Tay, I don't know who his first name is. Corsia, 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 Jesus Christ. We're losing to Nantes. Myron Boadu. Come on, there's a run from Lekwe. Okay, you're not gonna use it. Don't shoot, Myron, I swear to God. Okay, play it back, play it back. Myron, don't be dumb. It's a counter attack for Nantes. What's going on? Why are we unable to win now? Why are we unable to do anything, actually? Oh my fucking God. Thank you for Wilker Varinius. Thank you. This man is still here. Lekwe. Cross for Boadu. No one's there. It's another counter-attack for Nantes. Okay, it isn't because they... Oh, is that how they're going to play now? They're just going to yield the ball forward every time they got a chance. Uh, that's not good. That's not what I had uh, anticipated, anticipated. Sorry. Strefetsa. Come on. Yes, Gabriel. Boadu. Don't shoot. Myron. Myron again. <laughs> I yeeted a bottle out of my desk, but we move. Two all at the 68th minute. Come on. Come on. Two all. The one time PSG draws, we actually do the same. We had an XG of 2, they had an XG of 0 0.4, for fuck's sake. And it turns out I did exactly the same thing I did last year against Strasbourg. Uh, I thought I was playing on the Sunday, so I, I simulated until the Sunday. And it turns out we played on Saturday. So we won against Monaco 2-0. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, we didn't have our real formation though for once. Uh, um, let's take a look. Burge scored. Then Ran then Strefetsa got injured. Then Ranoka scored. Emerson got injured. And Goebbels scored goal. Wait, Goebbels played? Jovicic played up top. Where's. Hold up, Monaco. 
What's happened to your lad? What's happened to your teammate? Oh god. So Emerson got injured during the game. Uh, he's out three weeks. Okay. Then Gelson Martins damaged Achilles four to five months. Far. Damaged Achilles as well for, for Golovin. Mad. Okay. Uh, injury for Zobnin. Benyeda. Broken lower leg. Oh god. Two to eight days for Benjamin Lecomte. Damage Achilles as well for Kevin Val. What happened to you? There's three of their best players having a damaged Achilles. Are you mad? So that's play Radoslav Majeki from Legia. Okay, I can see why I scored twice past them. Oh, I dev destroyed. Claude Puel is having a stink of a, of a managerial start here. Four to five weeks for Gabriel Strefetza. That's end of the season as well for uh, our left back. And Saint-Etienne wins la Coupe de France. 8-1 win against Nantes. Goals from Robbie Kazri and Mizan Molida. Uh, Molida, who's a snake, by the way, We're going from Lyon to Saint-Etienne. Uh, I'm afraid that is illegal. And Jean-Kevin Augustin scoring uh, one goal for Nantes, but that was not enough to see the Canaries winning the Cup. The Cup goes to Saint-Etienne. Saint-Etienne will have a European competition. Somehow. Oh, God. Sangai Guevara are suspended. Strefetsa is injured. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna struggle so much. We're gonna struggle so much in that game. It's not gonna be a walk in the park at all. It should be potentially the last uh, really tough game. Uh, I mean, sure, we do play Lille after that, which is gonna be a tough one as well. But at least we'll be at home. Uh, this one, we're not. Maron Boadu. The long ball for Arezzo, it's cleared. Eggestein, Ducouré, come on, there's some space on the left. Haidara, come on, son. Well tackled by Jordan Ferry, the former Lyon player. Haidara still on the ball. Cross for Eggestein. What's happening? Massaggio, please do something. No, we've lost the ball. It's going to be a chance for Montpellier. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm confused. Uh, I am bamboo I'm bamboozled. We still have the ball, though. Come on. There's, there we go, there's Liquid on the right. And as soon as Liquid gets the ball, we can make something happen. What? That's a penalty? I swear, Liquid like, lost the ball, then tripped over himself. No, it's, a, it's not a pen. It's a shame because we had the ball, though. Half time, nil nil against Montpellier. Uh, you've seen the only uh, highlight of this game. Yeah, we need to be better. And it's going to be another draw. It's going to be yet another draw. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. We just can't. We just cannot score. We just cannot score. We haven't won. And I, I mean, I don't count the Monaco game as a win because I wasn't there. We haven't won in four games. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we could have come back on PSG as well. Oh, for fuck's sake. Same lineup as the one that faced uh, Montpellier. We hadn't played badly. Against Montpellier, um, we just couldn't convert our chances. I uh, hope that we will be able to do so today. There's a throw-in after one minute. Inigo Lequay, Myron Boadu. The cross deflected. Manuel Akanji plays for Lille. Wow, okay. Dominic Heinz is on uh, the receiving end of that cross, though. Haidara, Lucas Sangai, Lequay. What can Inigo do? He's going to square it to Myron Boadu. Let's go, let's go. I'm pretty sure Myron has scored all of the goals in this episode. Alessandro Schöp, his uh, throw-in is going to get cleared by Guevara. Eggestein yeets the ball forward for Matias Arezzo. Matias Arezzo, what can he do against his man, against Guillermo Maripan? Haidara, Eggestein, Arezzo, Arezzo, Arezzo! The shot is completely deflected, but I do not care. That's 2-0 after 28 minutes. Come on, let's go. We finally score. Isn't that great? I feel like it is. Half time to nil. Uh, they've caused us no trouble. Let's keep it out in the second half. Alright, we had to make two substitutions due to injuries. Haizara is injured, and I'm really not happy about that because Strefetsai, who's the actual player at this point, is already injured. Uh, and uh, Egestan has also taken a knock, so we've decided to sub him off. Um, is Klaus on the bench? Yes, we're going to have him for the final five minutes. Uh, but we should be taking a win today. Is Sirik on the corner? 
Long ball for Boadu, cleared by Guillermo Maripan. Uh, Ranoka will be the first one on uh, the uh, rebound. Can we do something? Can we make it potentially 3 0? Let's see. Guevara is in a good position to maybe find a through ball here. Arezzo, there is literally no one. Half uh, full time, sorry. 2 0. Second win against Lille. Good. Good. We've capitalized on PSG losing points. Mathematically, it's not over, but I don't think PSG will drop any more points, or at least not five. And PSG sadly won against Metz. Uh, I mean, I've checked the calendar and genuinely, like, they play Metz. I think they play Amiens and Nîmes. Uh, so, yeah, they're, they're most likely. I mean, they haven't mathematically won the title yet. Um, but if I want to have a chance at winning, uh, I need to win the last three games. PSG needs to lose the last two. And I need a positive goal difference of at least 22. So that's not happening. It it just isn't. At this point, I'm just fighting for second place. Uh, I can't get first. We're playing against Dijon. Dijon uh, last in the Ligue 1. I don't know if they're relegated yet. If not, uh, well, how about we become the team that, uh, that seals the deal for them and uh, sends them in the Ligue 2, like they did to Lens a couple of years ago. Final chance of the half. Corner, Lucas Angayi. No one on the receiving end. Ranocchia is going to be there. What can the Italian do? Egerstein, Lucas Sangai. There's a run by uh, Boadu. <sighs> there's, uh, th there's no chance. There's nothing in this game. We're in two at a time and we're going to take a draw against Dijon. Disappointing. Um, and mo I mean, more than just disappointing. It's unacceptable to do that kind of performances against bottom of the league. And there's already a chance in this game. 46 seconds in. Eggestein on the volley, potentially? No. Gradit? Why is Gradit playing? Okay. Interesting. I'm pretty sure I put Medina, but we move. Uh, Martin Calderon, Greimel, can something happen? For now, nothing. Eggestein, Gradit, there's Lekwe on the right, Strefetz on the left. What do you gonna do? For now, nothing. There we go. There's Inigo Lekwe. He's gonna take a shot, isn't he? And he's gonna miss. Wait, what? Wait, sorry, what now? How did we... We had a penalty and I didn't even see the... What? I paid attention. I just saw the, the replay of the goal. Man, I'm in key highlights. What? Well, we're 1-0 up. Penalty from uh, Martin Calderon. Uh, but what the... F ah? I'm confused. <laughs> Also, wait, we need to take a look at that formation from Trois here. I have never seen such a defensive formation. I mean, I have, but that Mourinho would be proud of that work, yeah. Lekwe potentially to break that defensive formation. Johannes Egerstein. Egerstein again. Nice. Ninth goal of the season for Johannes Egerstein, our German, doing bits and proving that uh, it wasn't a bad shout to, to sign him. I won't lie, I kind of uh, hesitated when I signed him. I literally signed him so that Gabi Heinz could uh, have a, a teammate or a German mate in the team. Turns out he's been pretty good. Ander Guevara. Martin Calderon. For Inigo Lekwe. Tackle by Dini Nangis. Lekwe is going to keep the ball. Play with Egerstein. Johannes. For Boadu. 3-0. The game is now done. Valentin and Seric. At the 93rd minute, it's either a chance or just full time. Thank you very much, referee. 3-0 win against Troyes. We have officially sealed second place in the Ligue 1 for our, our second year in the Elite. I think I can be happy with that. The Elite table is now uh, looking a bit more um, fixed or a bit more stable than it did uh, the couple of um, well, a couple of weekdays ago or a couple of match days ago, should I say? Sorry. PSG is the champion, obviously. Uh, we've, we've choked. We've had 13 draws this season, which clearly uh, shows how, I mean, where we lost. Uh, that earlier, like, the month of April is one of the deadest months I've had in quite a while. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we lost 9 points in this month. Hadn't we lost 10 points, we would be uh, ahead of PSG today. But again, with ifs, you would recreate the world, um, or man can recreate the world, I guess. We'll end up in second, no matter what the result against Angers is. Uh, I'd like not to take an L, but why not? Angers has nothing to play. Um, what can still be played for? 
fourth place can still be paid for, the direct position to the Europa League. Uh, actually, no, fourth and fifth, oh, so that's good. Uh, Nîmes. Nîmes, Metz, and Nice. Oh, God. Those are the last three positions, well, the last three important things. Because Nice can potentially save their season by ending in 18th position. Metz can try to avoid um, the um, the play-in tournament, or the playoff, sorry. Nîmes, for now, is safe. Uh, who's Nîmes playing? Let's take a look. They're going at the Parc France. Fair enough. <laughs> they're fucked. Who's Metz playing? They're going to Lyon. Okay, they're fucked. Who's Nice facing? They're... Oh, God. So, Nice, Monaco. Metz, Lyon, Nîmes against... Uh, against... Uh, wait, PSG? Yeah. That's a mad... That's, that's mad for the relegation sides. Madders. Final game of the season will face Angers. And, uh, I mean, as it is the final game, we're going to give Jean-Louis Leca uh, a game at, uh, well, as a star. So I will give Blerim Zemali a fixture as well. Uh, Ranoka, no. We'll give Pebern one. Uh, we'll give Radovanovic one as well. Gradit Radovanovic, Pebern in defense is good. Um, we'll give Julian Palacios one. And we'll give, uh, where's the man? We'll give Florian one game. Actually, 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 actually. Uh, I don't fuck off. But Shoi, Palacios, Eseric, and Sotoka instead of, um, instead of Bat Shoi. Yeah, we're making a nice throwback to last season here. Again, final game of the season, I don't really care about the outcome. And on the way, for the final game of the season, there's already a chance. 30 seconds in with Lekwe. Uh, Buffard is quick, quicker than my defense and mid. Jesus. Okay, Sofiane. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> nice. Good. Good. That's good. Good. Who are you? Who's that lad? Number 40 something. So that's Blair and Zimale. Then that's Radovanovic, and then that's Jean Luca. Good, this is superb. I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad we're not playing for anything here because that was absolutely shocking. Uh, we haven't had a single shot yet, which is good to see. Let's take a look at the um, the other results, uh, latest scores, if possible, young lad. Oh, there's a chance for Angers once again to make it 2 0 with Angelo Fulgini, Matthias Paralage, Fulgini. A good cross by Berem Zemali. It's such a shame that he didn't think about getting the ball after that. And Buffal makes it 2 0. Good. Impressive. No, no, no. Fam, it's time to stop though. When, uh, don't make it 3 0. Fam, Zemali has been absolutely horrendous. He's been at fault on the, th on the th three goals. Okay, two goals and a boost. Oh my god, there's so many chances. Just get on with it. Oh my god. Matas Peralage, good clearance, and Palacios doesn't go. Oh my god, Palacios. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 3 0, hat trick for Sofian Buffel. Good. So I'm glad I didn't play that team this year. Well, we've made substitutions. Um, th th there's no way we're going to make anything or get anything out of this game. But you never know. Matias Arezzo is the first one on the ball um, from this throw-in. Matias, what can uh, our Uruguayan do? Bad uh, second half of the season, is that offside? That isn't. That isn't. That's the 20th goal this season for Michel Batshuayi. That's 3-1. Batshuayi again. Batshuayi again. The pass for Myron Boadu. Come on. That's 3-2. At the 49th minute. We've scored twice in the minute. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> we might not be done yet. We might not be done yet. And sadly, we scored two goals, but that wasn't enough to prevent the loss. Angers wins. Uh, I mean, they had the, bad, the, the by far the better game. They had the better first half. I tried to, uh, to, to do an old tactic. It worked for like four minutes, uh, and, and then it didn't. And Nice is relegated. That's mad. That is mad. Nice is relegated. Nîmes is going to go and play in the playoffs. Wait, does that mean Metz got a result against Lyon? No. Wait, what? No, uh, league table. Mess? They won. A brace from uh, George Mikotadze. Mad, okay, wow, well then. 
Right, we've got all the season team reports. I'll look at them uh, individually when I'll have a bit more time because that's not exactly uh, video worthy, I guess. I'll just take a look at if there's uh, any issues. Facilities downgraded. All right, lad. Uh, make board request. Uh, is it? No, it's not stadium. Facilities. There we go. Uh, improve training. Yep. And improve youth. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, we've won the under-19 championship. Let's go. Come on. Big up Prince Mukanya. I don't know who you are, but big up. Uh, goal scoring record, 20 goals for Batshuayi. That's a record. 12 assists is a record for Arezzo. Uh, na, 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 na. Anything else? Uh, got money, which is good. Uh, what's the voice said? Oh, you're already... Oh, Chelsea won. We, ne <laughs> we nearly knocked out the champions of the... Um, or the winners... Of the Europa League. What was the final? Chelsea against Valencia. Ah, fair enough. What happened in the Champions League? Liverpool managed to beat Barcelona. Is that two L's in a row? Yep, that's two L's in a row for Barcelona. Right, before we wrap it up, let's take a look at the um, at the league tables. Atletico Madrid has won. Mad. They've won the Santander with 100 points. They've put 22 points to Real Madrid. Okay, the real Madrid of Erling Haaland. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, very well. How much did they pay for him? 75 mil, fair enough. Uh, but GG to uh, Diego Simeone's Atletico Madrid. Uh, what's happened in the Premier League? Liverpool. Liverpool took their revenge on Manchester City. Uh, they've won ahead of, uh, well, ahead of City. Tottenham in third and United Arsenal. Leeds in seventh place, clinching the uh, Europe... Uh, no, wait, no. EC? Wait, the seven spots given to Champions League. Well, who the fuck goes into ECC2 then? I don't know. Forest. Forest managed to stay up. Lad, let's go. What'd they do? They lost their final game to, to, to Swansea, who goes down. Sheffield United goes down. West Ham goes down. SNL. Uh, who goes up? West Brom, Watford and Burnley. Okay, fair enough. Very well. Hull City goes down to Scarbet League 1. That's quite peak. Um, here. Ipswich, Blackpool, Lincoln. Lincoln goes up. Lincoln is promoted. That's mad. Uh, Burton, Shrewsbury, Wigan, Accrington. Wickham nearly going down. That's, that has stopped doing that, lads. Uh, and finally, in the D2, Doncaster, Carlisle, Crew, Alexandra, sorry, and Walsall go up. Harrogate and Crawley Town go down. Borussia Dortmund won. Dortmund won. Okay. Okay, because Dort oh, cause Bayern lost 2-0 against Hoffenheim. Wow. Paderborn, Hannover and uh, Werder Bremen go down. Uh, I'm guessing Werder Bremen lost their playoffs against Augsburg. Uh, Bayern in second, then Hertha Berlin and Leipzig. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Leverkusen once again without European competitions. In the Serie A, oh, shocking. Piemonte Calcio is one ahead of Atalanta. Napoli, Lazio, Inter, Fiorentina. AC Milan, in, uh, well, AC Milan out of competition for Europe. Roma, I'm guessing, won um, the equivalent of the Carabao Cup in, uh, in Italy. Uh, in France, we know. We actually, we don't know who goes up. Who got promoted? Uh, well, not Nîmes, because Nîmes... Pam, can I go? Thank you. Strasbourg and Reims. Okay. Very well. Very well. Uh, I'm, yeah, and the plus fixtures already took place. Uh, okay. And very nice, very nice. And Châteauroux goes down. Uh, Châteauroux got absolutely bumper crossed by Pau. They go down with Avranche and Chambly. Oh, and the first winners of the European Conference League are Roma. AS Roma beating Villarreal. That's a good final. I'm usually used to seeing some uh, some odd things when it comes to this competition. Uh, so it's quite nice. What was uh, like the quarter? Was, was there any B Tech teams? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that was. That's too bad. Basel and, and Sporting in the final weren't too bad. Okay, my team accepted to improve both the training and the youth facilities, which means we're going to be uh, a top team when it comes to uh, to those infrastructures. Hopefully that will help us next season um, to uh, well, improve. I mean, if I want to improve, I need to beat PSG in the league table, which is not the easiest thing to do. But we'll attempt our best. We'll also be playing in the Champions League for the first time uh, since 1999 for loss. And the last time we did that, we, we played at Wembley and we are the only French team that ever won against Arsenal at Wembley. So let's... Try to do something at least as good next season. 
but that will be obviously for the next episodes of the Lost Career Mode. I do hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new on here, then why not subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you in the very near future. My name has been Blacko. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. But I'm all the man need feeding. I don't want to go bombie. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster.